A new version of DevMap Patch was released today to give us an option to generate higher quality depth maps using Depth Anything V2. As an example, the depth map generated on the left was using the old version of depth map batch and the model for depth anything v2, whereas the depth map generated on the right is also depth anything v2. However, for this one, there's a higher max resolution size being used for the input image when it's passed into the model. You have to keep in mind that it can take a lot longer to generate depth maps. The one on the left will take maybe 2-3 to three seconds on my machine. I'm using a MacBook Pro M1 chip. Whereas if I increase the max resolution size from 512 to 1024 on the right, it takes anywhere between 1.5 to 2 minutes. Let me show you how it's going to work. We first need to uninstall the old version of depth map batch. So we can search for depth, D-E-P-T-H, and it should show up for depth map batch. Then expand this little arrow and click uninstall and then click OK. Then close up Blender entirely. Then open up Blender again and go back into preferences. So edit preferences. And then in the top right, we'll click install from disk. To be able to use this newest feature, you'll need at least version 2.2.0, which can be downloaded in your account. So I've got 2.2.0 here, and then I'll click install from disk at the bottom, and it might take a second, and then close out preferences, and type in N on your keyboard to open up your side panel, and depth map batch should show up. Now I want to cover a few changes in the UI. In the depth map section, we have three subsections now instead of two. So depth map style will stay exactly the same as before. And then in model weight section, we do have a change. I'm hoping this will make it a little bit easier for everyone, including myself. Instead of selecting one of the individual model weights files, you're going to instead select the directory where all of your model weights files are located. Here's where all of my model weights files are located. I'm going to select accept at the bottom right. Then the tool will recognize which model weights files you have in that directory and it'll provide you the options of which one you want to run. So I want to use depth anything v2 for this example. Then in this little check mark, you'll click use save path and then click save as default path. To show you how it works, I'm going to close down Blender entirely and then reopen it. So close and then reopen Blender, then open up the side panel and then open up model weights. And you'll see that you have the save directory path for your model weights. Hopefully that will save you some time. The next thing is, is this model options bottom below it. Let's expand model options out. Right now there are two options, max resolution and mode. Max resolution is the max resolution size of the image that's passed into the model. The default is at 512. You have the option to increase it to 1024 and 1600 now. Up until this point, depth map batch was only using 512. The next option is mode. As of right now, there's only one option for mode, which is default. I have plans to expand and develop this one out. Let's change the model from depth anything v2 to something like Midas 3.1. You'll see in the model options section, you don't have any choices, and that's because right now the only development for the model options is using depth anything v2. Real quick, let me revisit the max resolution. Be very careful in using the 1600 for max resolution. For my computer, it will take me about 30 minutes to generate a depth map using 1600. I'm certain there are other machines that it won't even generate. So I would recommend in almost all cases using 512 or 1024. If you're using a video file, 1024 could work, but be prepared to wait several hours. Everything else in the UI and the functionality is exactly the same as before, but I do consider this a pretty big update given that we have a better quality depth map. Lastly, I would say that I think there's still a lot of value in using the 512. It will depend on the situation. I would just recommend trying it out yourself and experimenting to see what fits with your needs. Okay, that's all I got.